Tyler, we've been telling you Michael Corbett, the new CEO of Citigroup, just came on a couple of hours ago. He's getting a, a, a tepid reaction on the street. Citigroup stock up a little bit. And here's a little of what he had to say this morning. His little message to the troops this is a memo. It says, uh, I will take the next several weeks to immerse myself in the businesses and review reporting structures. My review will result in some changes. Well, apparently a stock that's down 90%, you would expect some changes. You would want some changes. Talk about the stock, to talk about Citigroup, we have Gerard Cassidy from RBC Capital Markets with us on the phone. Gerard, uh, thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it. What was your reaction to this news this morning? Did you, did you see this coming? Uh, no, I think this was a surprise to most investors. Um, I don't think any people anticipated it was going to happen today. And as a result, um, this morning, most of us were very surprised. Yeah. Uh, now you've had a couple hours to sit on this, to mull it over a little bit. What's your initial reaction? Do you think this was a good move? I mean, look, the stock was down 90% while Vikram Panda was CEO. Is this a good move, Change a little change at the top? Absolutely. I think this is a real positive move by Citigroup. Uh, again, it comes as a surprise, which is what makes everybody unsettled right now, because we don't know if there's another shoe to drop. But we don't believe there is another shoe to drop, and as a result, it will be positive. To your point about the stock being down over 90% under Vikram's term, he was dealt a very bad deck of cards. I know the president Absolutely. always talks about inherit, inheriting the Bush economy. Well, he inherited the Chuck, Chuck Prince legacy, and unfortunately, it was the worst thing for him. He, I think he's done an admirable job in trying to turn city around. He unfortunately got caught up in the downturn of city, but I think the real good news here is that th he's being replaced by Corbett, and I think not enough people are focusing on what has happened with the chairman. The chairman of this company changed in March of this year, or the spring of this year. Uh, Richard Parsons retired, and Mike O'Neill took over. Richard Parsons was a hands-off operator. Mike O'Neill is a hands-on operator. Mike O'Neill ran Bancorp of Hawaii from 2000 to 2004, and as investors review his track record there, if he applies it to Citigroup, this is a raging buy today. Wow. Uh, hey, Gerard, what would you like to see Corbett do? He said he's going to make some changes, take a few weeks. Well, what would one of the first or second kind of things you'd like to see him do be? The so first thing we'd like to see him do is to come out and say that I'm all for driving up shareholder value by delivering the highest possible return on equity to shareholders. And I'm going to do that by shrinking this company and only keeping the businesses that deliver that return. And if they don't deliver the return, we're going to jettison the business and all the excess capital will be returned to shareholders in the forms of dividends and buybacks. That's what we need to hear. We hear that, and that's Mike O'Neill. That's what he did at Bancorp of Hawaii. And Corbett, as you know, ran City Holdings, so he knows how to downsize a company. So to us, this is a real positive. He's going to, as you already just announced in that memo that he sent out, all the business lines are going to be reviewed. Changes are coming. To us, this is quite positive. All right, Jar Cassidy, appreciate your time, sir.